How's it going everyone? Brandon from the Mangme Guys back with another Let's Read Tower of God video. In the last time it was chapter 67, this time it's chap no this time it's chapter 67, last time it was chapter 66. And we got Rock and a Paracule fucking around. Well, these Paracules fucking around and fuck shit up and then Rock just has to go along with this new plan, so. I'm seeing blood on the ground, so I'm guessing we're gonna get back to a knock and Ren's fight, but let's see. Yep, and I last time we saw them, I noticed in editing that Anak got stabbed by uh, Ren. I didn't uh, say that in the video though. So yeah, she got stabbed by that giant like crab claw thing, and it looks like she's in like serious pain. And she's still trying to fight though. Did damn, yeah, she doesn't seem like the type that would just give up and like beg for her life or anything. She's going for Green April, and then he kicks it into the air or away from her and he snatches it with his tongue and his mouth is even open there <laughs> so he got green april which what he originally wanted green april retrieved the detail on the tongue is pretty good though i will have to admit even though it looks kind of nasty it looks very nice give back bastard i love how she didn't even like say sentence there she just said her thoughts give back bastard that's that shows you what kind of state she's actually in when she's not even forming like a coherent sentence <laughs> yum i won't giggle how stupid you are if you had lived quietly you could have lived a little longer but you came into the tower i didn't even think about that but Anak would definitely not, not want to live that kind of life because, you know, her mom died and her dad. Well, it won't be fun to kill you like this. Uh, of course. So I brought a special guest. Is this the bull? Yeah, because the light's in here. The bull has Endorsey, but isn't Endorsey a daughter of Jihad? So Ren is not going to want to kill her because she's part of the family. I'm pretty sure, and the bull looks extra huge there. Second floor, last examination, chapter 10, 11. Is it really? Yeah, wow, it's 11. <laughs> she still calls her witch. W witch. You, did you... Have you been controlling the bull? Bingo, that's right. From the start, this test has been engineered to kill you. Yeah, Yugon's definitely in the on the inside with this one. Not Yukon, what am I saying? Uh, Hung Sung Yu. This test, the supervisors who administer the test, the f entire floor, everything in the tower is your enemy. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna say something crazy right there, like everything in the tower <laughs> was engineered to kill you or something. That wouldn't make any sense, but I thought he was about to say it for a second. Because you are the enemy of Jihad, and I guess that's like the family symbol. It looks like three eyes. And, ooh, and I like the the size scaling of this panel. Even though, you know, Yugon's body doesn't look that intimidating. So, but it still, it still works. It's weird how he says giggle. It doesn't sound, I don't know if that's supposed to be him laughing or he, he just says the word giggle a lot. Arg. Well, let's start the show. So the bull is here, and Dorsey looks beaten up. So what's he gonna do with Dorsey? Is he gonna finish her off too? What's gonna happen? Or is he gonna have Dorsey finish a knockoff? Yeah, yeah, he might have that. Miss Dorsey, wake up, Miss Dorsey, wake up. You you rough handle her, dude. She's probably not gonna like you. Princess and Dorsey, shut up. How many times? Did I tell you not to wake me up? Okay, so she knows Ren. Ah, uh, headache. Sorry for the usual reaction, but where am I? Oh, no, okay, that was just a normal reaction. She didn't actually know who she was talking to. Huh? Wave controller teacher. Why is he here? What's he? Is he gonna have her kill her? L lizard, what's going on? Witch and lizard, that's how they refer to each other. What witch? This white fluff ball is the enemy. H he's the enemy? Not to her, because she's part of the Jihad family. 
Sorry for introducing myself late, Miss Dorsey. I am Ren Number 67, the Jihad Royal of the Jihad Royal Assassinations Unit. She's not going to go along with what he says. Like, if, even if he's like, you can kill Anak, like, she's not going to do it. It's not going to happen. Royal Assassins, they're the ones who do the dirty work for Jihad. The reason he's here is, you came here to kill the lizard. Yup, I'm about to. He even throws a giggle. In. Look how happy he is. The panel, the background in that panel just shows you that... Like, He's so giddy about doing his job. Should, like he's like this is like blissful for him. I'm about to. But before that, I wanted to check one thing while I was acting as teacher. Check. Yes, it might be rude to ask this, but just in case, I was wondering if you were trying to help that fake go up the tower. Oh. Okay, so he is actually testing seeing if to test in Dorsey her loyalties does he have the kind of power to do that because I mean she's a, a daughter of Jahak which basically means she's a princess and he's not even like of the royal family he just like she says he just does the dirty work so wow maybe they have a lot more power than I thought they would and she's like nervous too she's saying no way why would I help her but then why did you eliminate other right eliminate other rivals in the previous tests why did you eliminate other rivals what kind of question is that Th that's oh you don't have to explain it to me you can prove it now with your actions yeah he's gonna ask her to kill her huh yup kill that fake right here in this moment shit I'm guessing that they're gonna work together and like pull off like a sneak attack on him it probably won't work on Ren but it might like force him to retreat Th that's why are you hesitating yeah he's like going hard on her right now testing her loyalties uh, of course I would love to do that right now but we need her on the team because we're still taking the test don't worry about that I will take the bull with me when I leave the rest of you can take the can take care of the rest of the test can't you but it's just, no, oh, he's screaming at her, Princess and Dorsey. Are you going with this girl who wants to take vengeance on the family of Jihad? She is bonded with her. If Jihad, yeah, he's like, he's, he's blackmailing her. If Jihad knew about this, there would be less chance for you to receive a 13th month weapon later. So I think, actually, maybe the power arc he is, like, even though he's, like, number 67 of the Royal Assassination Unit, um, he probably has more power than in Dorsey right now. And not just because he has the Green April at this moment. So maybe they're, like, I guess, like, um, a goal for each of the daughters of Jihad and sons of, if, I don't know if there are any sons of Jihad, but the children of Jihad want to prove themselves to Jihad and then receive a weapon as a gift and maybe like the assassination unit is like kind of like scouts they can like see which children are doing better and kind of like recommend it to the king but she says there would be less a chance you would receive a 13 month weapon and that's like a big look at that that's very important apparently ooh he just tossed it at her from his mouth show me princess or maybe the Green April won't want to kill Anak. I mean, it definitely won't ignite for Endorsey. But I don't think it's going to be that. I think it's going to be uh, Endorsey teaming up with Anak to kind of like drive him away. That you are worthy of receiving a 13 month weapon with the power to control. With the power to control the destiny of the tower. Whoa. I didn't know that came with the weapon. Does Jihad have, or does Jihad's family, or members of Jihad's family, have control of all 13 month weapons? We know that they have Green April, and Anak has Black March? I forget who has Black March now, because she took it from Bomb, and I don't remember what happened after that. But I. Mm, if they are the most powerful weapons in the tower, and the Jihad family has them all, that's kind of overpowered. 
she's looking down. Yeah, she doesn't want to do it. She's turning to her. I wonder if she's thinking about the past or the present right here. Because most people say that when someone looks down into the left, they're thinking about the past. But it looks like she's looking down into the right. So maybe she's like thinking about the future and about what the action she's about to do. Uh, what like outcome they're going to have. She might become an outcast princess like right now if she like betrays Jihad. Like Anak. So she's looking at Anak and he, she's saying witch and there's a lot of detail in this face right here. Something big is about to happen, I can feel it. I like that we're, we're focusing on one thing this chapter and not kind of bouncing around. Are you really... She's not going to do it. Grabbing at Green April, and then we hear his giggle. Is that the chapter? No, it's not. Okay. Controlling the pretty princess, just like I do with the fish. I, I shouldn't be like this. Controlling the pretty princess, just like I do with the fish. Maybe the, the sea snake he was talking about. I shouldn't be like this, but this is really fun. Yeah, he's like. He can't even contain his, like, excitement. He's, like, visibly shaking. Damn, that's an interesting character trait. Please don't end the chapter yet. Yeah, this is, uh, and Dorsey blowing out. So she's, like, you know, she's coming to the terms that she's going to help a knock right now. Huff, 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 huff. Huff. Ooh, they're putting a lot of emphasis on this exhale. Oh, this is Shibisu. Oh, huff, 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 huff. Aw, oh, I can't go any farther. I give up. Damn my stamina, huff, huff. Spring up. So he's looking for a knock and a Dorsey, I'm pretty sure. But he's tired. Is he going to interfere? Ooh, something's coming closer. Who could it be? I don't think it would be the bull, because he's with Ren and them. Could it be the dogs? Maybe Yuri. Ooh, maybe it's Yuri. Gulp. What is... He's shaking, tremble, tremble. This pressure feels like my body is coming apart. It's definitely Yuri and her gang. Hey, you poor thing. This is it. I can feel it. Let me ask you for directions. That's definitely her, because she doesn't want to ask Evan. Yep. Tower of God to be continued. I like how they're trying to they're trying to subvert you right there to think that it's like some kind of monster by showing like the red eyes, but it's actually it's Yuri. There's no way I will be severely surprised if that's not Yuri and her group. But that's the chapter, and um, I like that one a lot. I mean, I understand that we couldn't get the whole conclusion to what was going to happen with um, a knock and Dorsey, because as soon as I said, well, I like how they're focusing on one thing this chapter, and then they went to Shibisu. But it was for like two pages, not even, and it was probably necessary to set up what's happening it's probably going to happen in the next chapter. Maybe Yuri's going to come interfere with what's happening with, um... Because Endorsi is a princess of Jihad, and so is Yuri. So, I was thinking maybe Anak and Endorsi were going to team up to fight Ren, but it's looking like maybe in Yuri's going to come in at the final moments, going to see all this happening, and she is clearly stronger than, um, Ren, and from what we've been shown, in my opinion. It, even though we haven't been shown, like, real strength feats, it's just, like, heavily implied that uh, Princess Yuri is insanely strong. And maybe she's going to see what Ren is doing, and she's going to be like, yo, who are you to try to tell us princesses what to do? Going to fuck him up, maybe, like, send him home, maybe kill him. I don't know what she's going to do. She's, she's, like, the top princess, I think, so she could probably do whatever she wants. So that is probably what's going to happen next chapter. Yuri's going to interfere 
Or if not, then it still might be an Anak and a Dorsey team up versus Ren, but I see that less and less now because Anak is severely injured. Yeah, I really liked the uh, a lot of the panels in this chapter, like how they, you know, they showed more than just what was at eye level if you look deeper in some of the panels. And just a lot, it was very good art. Like I said, the art is getting a lot better. I've noticed that because the art was kind of wonky in the beginning. But like, um, as the seer goes on, the artist improves and the art improves. So it's just only natural that that happens. Yeah, but besides that, nothing else really happened this chapter. Like the video if you did, let me know down below. When you first read the chapter, who did you think uh, was at the end there? I know, like, when I ask these questions, probably a lot of you just kind of, like, you know, marathon the series. Like, when you finish one chapter and you just went to the next one without thinking. But you gotta try to put yourself in my shoes or someone who's reading it for the first time. So if you were reading it for the first time, who do you think would be at the end of the chapter? And how did you think Anak was gonna get it out of the situation? Because I... I don't think she's gonna die right here. I don't think Endorsey's gonna kill her, but what were your thoughts on what was going to happen at this point? Let me know in the comments and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, and always let me know how I can improve these videos because I make them for you all and I wanna make them as best I can. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.